Welcome, <clears throat> Scorpions. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Scorpions, it's the month of December. The month to remember, okay? So, Scorpions, let's go in and check out and see what is coming out for you guys. It is one of my favorite months. Um... You are showing up the truth about the Sagittarian person. Oh, yeah. A lot of you, um, Scorpion, is really showing up the truth about the Sagittarian person. A lot of you are shedding light to some information, shedding light to something that was happening and people were not aware of. A lot of you, Scorpion, is really showing up people for who they are and shedding a whole lot of light. So you brought uh, the light and uh, bringing light into some sort of a darkness that was that was there, and people were not aware of what was happening. You showed up uh, um, a Sagittarian for who they are. Nine and nine, an end is coming into a situation. Uh, Scorpion, really, whatever that was happening and transpiring to you, Scorpion. An uh, end is coming up to a situation. A lot of you, Scorpion, were having some sort of an issue with your mom. A lot of you, Scorpion, um, are realizing that your mom was unfairly treated. And I see um, you have um, a, such a hardship. You don't know how you're going to be healing a situation with your mom. So a lot of you are dealing with your mom. And the people who are going to be having it, um, the artist, is if your mom is a... Um, if your mom is a Taurus, I see a lot of you are going to be finding out truth about your mom, a Taurus woman. Okay. And you're going to be finding out the truth about this person. I see a Taurus is finding out what has happened and what has transpired to a family. This woman is really realizing how dishonest people have uh, treated this family and how, um, and people have taken advantage of this family. And I see truth is coming out. And you, Scorpions, is going to be successful. Go and check out the Capricorn reading because the Capricorn had basically like the nearly the same sort of an energy. Now, a first week is hurt, second week is fire, third week is hurt, and the last week is also fire. Uh so um Scorpion, this is so wonderful. I love you guys. Please remember. Take it easy in the Christmas time. <clears throat> Remember to like and share. Um, we are in your season of Scorpion when I'm doing this. So it's, it's a Scorpion season. Oh, Sagittarian. Sagittarian season. Um, your season has been over. Um, you can do a um, 2021 year reading. It will be good. So be aware of that. I see positive alignment of energy is going to be coming in. I see a whole lot of you are going to be understanding a whole lot of situation. Scorpion, it is advisable. And honestly, why? As um, to get, uh, um, join the channel. Okay. If either you join the channel for $4.99 per month, it's two cup of coffee per day or per week. Okay. Uh, $4.99 per month is two cup of coffee per day or per week. And why is this to, um, Scorpion? Is that you will receive more information that is going to be helping you um, in order to push you in a new direction. You're definitely going to be receiving more information that is going to be pushing you in a new direction. And you're going to be, um, you know, there's different, different uh, um, things that can help you as you go through the month that give, can give you answers to your question and give you advice uh, as in which direction to go in. And this is going to be wonderful. Then we see the energy of the hermit. And the energy of the hermit uh, is guiding, is becoming a guiding light uh, this is number nine. This is spiritual. So a lot of you, Scorpion, your guiding angel is going to be guiding you on a the correct part. And if you notice, the hermit is bringing balance in the first week to a situation. And it's also shedding light on some sort of a past issue, family issue. And it's also healing a situation between you and your mom. And you are going to be successfully overcoming some sort of a financial hardship that some of you scorpions were in. And I see truth is going to be coming up. Then I see the energy of the nine. And the energy of the nine has to do with some sort of a, you're standing your ground. Okay, this is a nine of one. Standing your ground. 
and is trying to stand your ground and protect yourself from some sort of a conflict, some sort of a family conflict. You're standing your ground, trying to balance out some sort of a family conflict. And I see um, information is going to be coming in. And uh, whatever information is coming in is going to be removing you out of some hardship, okay? When the energy of the sun is over um, and, and hard card and hard energy, that means you're going to be successfully overcoming some sort of a financial hardship that some of you, Scorpion, was going through and was dealing with, okay? So be aware of that. So um, be advised <clears throat> as to what is coming up and is transpiring. A cycle is going to be over. A lot of you were having some sort of family issues, family hardship that was transpiring. This is going to be over and you're going to be moving in a wonderful, positive direction moving forward. And this is going to be good. So light is going to be shed on situation. So let's look at the um, the first week. We have you are balancing some sort of a conflicts. It could be family conflicts. You're going to be standing your ground and balancing out some sort of a con uh, family conflicts that was transpiring. And you're also protecting yourself from this family conflicts, okay? Then we see some sort of a balancing out issues with the family is coming in. And I see you're, you're communicating clearly, communicating and letting people know exactly what is happening and what is transpiring and um, being aware of uh, the transition that is coming up. Then in the second week, I see the energy of the carousel, some sort of a conflict from the past. You're standing your ground. You are making sure you're standing your ground, protecting yourself and trying to get out of the cold, okay, in the second week. Some sort of a good news is coming in about the family. So some sort of a positive information is going to be coming in from the family. Um, and I see that some of you in the second week could be receiving message that, um, your kids is going to be coming home for Christmas. So that is going to be good for some of you or your parents is going to be coming in. So that is going to be wonderful. Then when we look at mother nature, I see with the energy of mother nature, I see the energy that some of you are going home for Christmas for you. Um, to your mom or your mom is going to be coming to visit you for Christmas. So I see that this is going to be good and this is going to be positive. So however the issue and the situation is, uh, I see definitely that some sort of a balancing out uh, between you and your mother is going to be resolved. Okay, some sort of information in the third week of Christmas could be coming in from your mom and you're going to be happy to receive uh, some sort of a message from your mom and this is going to be good. Then I'm looking at the fourth week and the energy of the sun with the energy of the fourth week. I see truth is coming in and the quest of metal and truth is definitely coming in over some sort of a situation. And you scorpions are going to be very, very successful. You're going to be successfully overcoming what was happening and transpiring. So I see you're going to be shedding light and bringing balance to a family situation between you and your mom. <clears throat> there was some sort of a hardship between you and your mom. Um, communication issues, situation that was transpiring. And I see you're going to be balancing that situation out. Then I see conflicts, whatever the conflicts and the issue is that was transpiring from the past. You're going to be communicating very clearly and shedding light on some sort of a situation that was happening so that uh, people can understand what was transpiring and what was happening and how, um, people have created a huge mess, a Taurus woman. I've created um, a, 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 um, a, a, a Taurus woman is going to be shedding light on a situation and letting people know the truth about what was happening and transpired. So I see this Taurus woman is really going to be um, standing up for a lot of you, Scorpion, in order to balance some sort of a family issue and family situation that was transpiring. So the first week is a little bit complicated um, because... Uh, um, in the first week is as if whatever the conflicts was with a family, I see you're going to be trying to resolve that. And some of you could be going home for Christmas. Um, some of you are going to be decide to go home for Christmas. And some of you are finally going to be telling your mom the truth about what has transpired in the week of Christmas. Mm, so that is wonderful. So, um, 
family issues, especially people who are having family issues with their mom or with a mother figure, I see you're going to be really, really balancing that out. Now, another wonderful thing is that some of you Scorpions were ripped off or extorted by someone that all of the money is going to be coming back to you, okay? Because they're going to be realizing that you and your mom was extorted a whole lot of money and I see that this money is going to be coming back to you, Scorpion. Then I see um, a lot of you are trying to protect your family, but also communicating um, and uh, trying to bring some sort of a balance and balancing out some sort of an issue. Whoever, you women that was in financial situation, it's going to be resolved. I see family is going to be helping you in order to create some sort of a balance in your world and balancing out a whole lot of uh, issue and situation that was transpiring, okay? So balance is the name of the game. It's as if you, Scorpion, is shedding light on some sort of a situation that was happening and transpiring. I see happiness in the family. Um, um, happiness is going to be returning in the family, and this is going to be wonderful and um, really very, very transpiring, and this is going to be good. So a whole lot of happiness, a whole lot of joy, um, whatever the family issue is and was, I see people are going to be finding out the truth about what was happening and transpiring. I see you, Scorpion, is going to be bringing a whole lot of clarity. I see um, a Capricorn person could be helping some of you to get out of some sort of a hardship that you're in. A Capricorn person is going to be bringing back some sort of a balance to the family in order for the family um, to get back on their foot and move forward. And I see that this person is going to be coming in in the right time in order to resolve a situation, okay? So I see there was some sort of a conflicts, family conflicts from in the past. I see communication is going to be good and it is going to be successfully resolved, okay? Then I see um, you are going to be balancing out whatever issues you're having with your child mother or you're having with your child father, I see you're going to be able to balance out this issue and to let it go and just heal the situation in order for you to move forward. So, Scorpion, this looks like a really good Christmas for you guys. Um, There is no issues. There is no um unexpected situation. I see a Capricorn woman is really going to be there. Be there. For a lot of you, I see your mom is going to be there for a lot of you. I see a Capricorn woman is going to be coming in and it's going to be helping out a lot of you in a lot of ways in order to create um, a lot of new stability in your world. And this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous. So your last message is healer of action. This is a time when you can do whatever you set your mind to do if your heart is open. You're being asked to do many things at once. You want to have a mindset with, this is indicated that someone who is uh, um, lovingly and intelligent and passionate and have fun, which could be definitely you, okay? So whatever is happening and transpiring, Scorpion, know that you're going to be okay. Namaste. <clears throat>